Hello and welcome to Retro Circuit. If you're new here, I talk about retro computers, retro games, the nostalgia of using them, and also we will learn how to program games on these amazing retro machines. Today's video is the first of a series of videos related to a gaming topic, but first I want to show you a little secret, so come with me. This is my treasure, basically, and this is a box full of tapes for the Commodore 64 that I bought when I was a kid in the 80s and I, I have been carrying around this bo box for all these years. There is a lot of stuff here that basically I, one more thing is like I have no idea what is in here, I don't remember at, at all. Some games when I start playing them probably I will remember, but at the moment I have no idea what is in here. Many of these games, actually most of them, were games that came with a magazine. So the magazine have um, the cassette with them and they talk about the games and all the things. So basically I was buying whenever I could these games and also exchanging these tapes with other kids in school so we can exchange the games. Some of them, like this one for example, have a uh, cassette and a little bit, a little book here with the name of the games and some explanations. Some other games I just lost the little book, I lost the description, so I have no idea what, oops, I have no idea what is inside. I grew up in Italy and these games were bought there, so you will see many of these games that have Italian titles translations and also the game is translated. So many of these games I know them by the Italian name they have, but I don't know what were what was the original name. Probably some of them were popular, maybe not. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about. Let me know if you have a similar experience maybe in another country where they did the same, I don't know, in Spain, in Germany, in France, or they maybe translated the Saints games in other languages. So I would really really like to know. Some of these were popular, like Star Wars, like for example, but some other games I really have no idea. We are going to explore these games together. I am planning to make one video for every tape and we will go through them. I have no idea what is inside, so we will discover them together for the first time. And I am going to run uh, play these games on a real Commodore 64, so no emulation, nothing like that. A real Commodore 64 and a data set, the game in there, will capture the uh, output of the Commodore into the video and let's see how it goes. Let me know also in the comments if you think about a better way of doing this, but at the moment I didn't have time to move and back up these tapes into a file into the computer, didn't have the time, I need to do a little bit of research on how to do it properly. Maybe some of these games don't work at all, who knows, but uh, I mean, anyway, we will try and we will explore these together. Well, here we are. The first game is going to be this one, Piatello. Basically, this has eight games and it says like the explanations of these, um, the explanations are in Italian of these very new, brand new games. That's why it says here it's published by Publi, Publi Rome. I don't know if they even still exist anyway. There is going to be a little bit of delay in these games because I'm using a um, converter, basically I take the output from the Commodore 64, the video output, and transform that into uh, what would be a webcam from QuickTime point of view. So there is device, there is a little bit of delay in that. Okay, Fermi Registratore means stop the data set. Let's see. Okay, so here. Number of players, numero di giocatori at the beginning, livello, level, yeah, let's leave it like that. And then button say partita, it means play, but you're gonna learn Italian here. Fire, let's see, ah, yeah, this is, this is air hockey, I think it's cool, I guess. Let's see, Up. okay, <laughs> already got it. Uh, uh, okay, next side, let's see, next side. Yeah, there is a little bit of delay, but not that bad. It's not that much. I mean, I'm anyway way bad at playing this, so it's not going to make much of a difference. Oh, okay. I'm bad at this even in real life as well, so anyway. The click, click, click that you hear is the joystick, which is a uh, old traditional one. This is the one I was using when I was a kid. I still have the same. Um, but yeah, basically what it has is a, is a spring that connects to 
a, it has a mechanism with a screen that makes a contact and every time it makes a contact but send the signal to the Commodore 64 and to make a movement and makes this noise so let me know in the comments if this noise is annoying uh, to you I will try to I don't know how I could fix that if that happens I, I'm losing completely <laughs> here uh, let's see let's focus a little bit annoying that is, that's an excuse I'm just bad at this hey yeah, but that was an auto goal <laughs> so I don't know if it counts uh, well it should I guess it's the computer fault oh yeah that was an auto goal my fault human fault anyway well you got it I mean this is what this game is um, and yeah let's try one more time okay good make one at least one let's stop here uh let's see the next game povero harry basically poor harry let's see what this about and basically this game says that poor harry is haunted by a horrible nightmare and he's a very bad boy and but there are horrible monsters that haunt him as well and he has to go through a frenetic hunt to recover some bombs and when but when he does that the monsters disappear so he's having some sort of <laughs> I don't know hallucinations but <laughs> but for a moment um, they come back and then um, some bombs are in dead angles so it's difficult to get in and he cannot go through the stairs he can only go up some stairs and then go from there down and he has to be careful not to spend too much time in the process otherwise he, he will die okay here is poor Harry to start press fire Okay, I'm there in the bottom. I have to move. Okay, the stairs don't let me pass. And okay, I get a bomb. But the, the, the monsters are not to appear when I get the bomb. Oh! Okay, here we go. Another okay, bomb. No bomb. Actually, bomb. <laughs> My pronunciation is <laughs> to get bombs. <laughs> to get bombs. And. <laughs> okay, um. Oops. No. Dead. Okay, hurry. Come on. Go up. What do you say, Sam? There. E con l'orologio che vi presentiamo. Yeah, I died. Okay, again. Come on. Do it. No, dead. That star. What is that star? Let's see. Ah, points, I guess. Maybe I can get a life after a certain amount of points. Oh, they're coming for me. Okay, two. Oh, died. Oh. Okay, one more. Come on. That's interesting concept. I kind of pass this, the stairs, so it's actually also kind of a puzzle at the same time, not just um, about speed and, you know, it's not just about speed and going around and not to, and reflexes, but it's also about somehow a little bit of strategy and it'll be also a puzzle because this guy for example is going up there so I can get this one get this way oh, I was trying to get the, yeah almost okay what the fire is doing nothing yes. okay uh, no it does nothing okay. can I do something if I press fire and move in a certain direction now oh. and this guy is trying to follow me mm, okay I can go up and down Hey, come on. No, no. Okay, again. Come on. Okay, go up. Okay, left. Uh, no, no. Go back. Ah, I'm 
here. I cannot escape. There were two monsters in the center of the stair. Can't go out. Okay. No. No, they're coming. <laughs> go. No way. <laughs> uh, no, go back. Run, hurry, run. Run away from the monsters. No, here, I get trapped. Hey, on the top of what say, like, hurry, you're a very spoiled boy or something like that. Okay. That's poor Harry. I was able to pass the first level. The next game is the Il Labirinto, meaning like the main is the labyrinth. So reading here is like, basically you are in a game that will put you into the, you will test your sense of orientation and you have to choose the right dimensions to, to, to move around. Um, and that will make the difference on your final uh, score. So here you are in the entrance of a labyrinth in three dimensions, in three dimensions. And you can move one step at a time, 90 degrees, right or left. If you press H for help, then you will know a little bit where you're around, but then you will lose a lot of points for this. And it's asking me how big I want the labyrinth. So how uh, the, the width of it, I don't know, let's say four. Let's make it easy. And how the depth, so I know the five. Okay, so F moves forward. Uh, but the, the characters in English, so that this has been translated. F is forward, L is um, left, R is right, H is help, M is music, to stop the music, and stop is the Q to quit. Okay, right space, M for music. Um, so, entrata means entrance, so uh, forward, and uh, yeah, this doesn't use the joystick, so F. Forward, C, left, hmm, forward, right. Let's run here, four, four, and then right, and then four, right, four, 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 and left, and four, four, left, oh, no left, uh, right, okay, I'm losing a lot of points here, that's why it came, that's why it came, I lost, I completely disoriented already, I have no idea, so let's go to left, and now forward, and then right, oh, that looks, I don't know if that's an exit or it's actually just me jumping to bleed you through their plots. So four, four. Should I go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the exit. Ah, yeah. So what? I have four. My score is four. Yeah, that was that was a labyrinth. That that's that's the blueprint. Yeah. Okay. This one is very interesting because anyway, it gives it, it forces you to mentally build these this map, this representation of the labyrinth in your head without seeing it and without, without having that right and like more like three-dimensional perspective that you might have if the game had better graphics or, or on a modern computer. Well, the next game, I don't know how to translate, it's called Taglio or Rovescio, basically it's um, I think it's when an airplane just go and does this thing, just turns around. So let's see. This game says, basically the instructions says it's a very simple game, but nevertheless, it's a very sophisticated flight simulator. You have to take off and you have to also to land and everything, of course, in the less amount of time as possible. Um, be careful and don't let the engine reach the 700 degrees and reduce power if necessary. So probably it's a flight simulator, as I say, says here, just to do some acrobacies or stuff like that. Let's see. Okay, here basically it says a press fire to start uh, flying and you can change the difficulty of the game. Just let's leave it as it is right now. It's kind of easy. Let's press fire and see. Oh, well, like I said, go forward. Okay, one to nine, zero to nine, are to just the power of the of the engine. Let's put it seven. See if that because I need to take off. One, two, 
power. I full power. At uh, the temperature, yeah, we have to be careful now. It's okay, go up. Go up. The power is almost 100% or more. It's 110%. Temperature is still good. Come on, go up. Okay, we are taking off. Let's reach a certain altitude. I have to keep pushing the joystick several times. Just going down several times in order to make it go Keep going up. What is the altitude here? Okay, there. Okay, steady. Going up. Okay, now it's going. Okay. Let's reduce the power now to 7 something. And I can turn. No, I'm gonna fall. Oh, more power. Ah, crushed. <laughs> the next game is called Contraffensiva USA. Basically, USA counteroffensive or something like that. What the instructions say is that the United States government is developing a sophisticated defense mechanism based on monitoring the enemy from space in order to intercept nuclear warheads. Uh, but unfortunately, the system is not ready yet, and a Soviet Union, Soviet Union attack happened. Uh, they attacked. So only one base is ready, and you as the commander of the base have to guide your um, airplanes to towards the Soviet uh, bases. So by destroying them, they will destroy the warheads as well. So let's see. Okay, what it says uh, F1 simple, advanced, and suicidal. I'm gonna try first the simple F1. Okay, cannot hear any sound. I wonder if it's corrupted. Oh, yeah, now. Okay, spacebar basically activated this. So. I don't know if we are the one walking there or somebody else. Hmm, get teleported inside the airplane. <laughs> okay, go. Do I have to guide it? Oh, I got crashed inside the base. <laughs> I didn't know I have to get it. I probably, I, yeah, probably have to get it there. And where? <laughs> Not to the door where the guy came, but actually in front of it. It doesn't look like it's so difficult. Let's see. Okay, turn. Turn. No, no, no. <laughs> Just getting out of the base is already uh, uh, not that easy. I think, yeah, I ate in the bottom says, um, how many airplanes do I have? Okay, one more time. Turn, down there. No, oh, go back, go back, 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 back. Okay, come and you open it? No. Is that airplane? Yeah, I think I'm that. Yeah, I'm that white little thing there. I need to take this down to the Russian base that is operating those four nuclear warheads. Okay, is that what I have to do here? This one. Yeah. Ah, now I'm in, in, in there. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, with this fire, I go up. Was this game popular somewhere? I mean, I'm dead now. Uh, I wonder what was the name of this game somewhere else. Okay, now I'm in space again. 
Now I'm going that. I have to move that little white line <laughs> down to the. Is that really how it works? Yeah, that's why it looks like it. That's how it works. So I have to go down there to the little. There. Okay, now let's see if I can do this better than next, last time. So. Oops. No, the inside, don't go there. It's such a pretty cool game, really. I love it. Okay, you got it. Let's move to the next game. I'm sure I'm gonna play this more in time. <laughs> a lot more. Okay, the next game is called Soldier ICS. So I'll translate the instructions of this ICS soldier could be even entering contractor support. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, the mission is to conquer the island of Manu <laughs> that has been invaded by uh, guerrilla troops of the commander battle. And this mission has been assigned to you, soldier ICS. Uh, this ex-marines is uh, the soldier is an ex-marines and he's the most experienced in solo incursion missions. The first thing you have to do is to get to the island using your ship called XJ-25 and destroy the enemy ships. And once you get there, well, you have to fight the guerrilla forces that will try to stop you from reaching the headquarters. And your only weapon is a bazooka. Okay, that's the soldier ICS. Listen to the music. Okay, fine. Get ready, soldier ICS. That's what it means. Preparati, soldato ICS. Okay, I didn't. I, I have to fire again. Okay, maybe this is the XJ25 uh, ship that I have to. Ah, okay, this is the ship I have to fire at these. These are the guerrilla ships, I guess. They're fine back. Oh, I don't fire back. Yeah, that one, that one. Okay, let's see. Oh. Do I do something else or just fire at these guys? Okay, so Abati the Navi means just destroy the, the ships. Get ready, soldier, I see us. Ah, okay, I love this one. Ah, I have to conquer it here. That's pretty good. They're getting closer. Get ready, get close to the port. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have to destroy also these guys, the little canoes on the island. It's way farther away. Yeah, that was destroyed. This probably is a little bit farther. Well, they are pretty good at shooting me. That should be exactly the same height as the ship. A closer. Another one. Come on. I fired too far away, probably. I think it's the right. No, it's close. Just a little bit more. No more. Maybe I have to fire several times. Right? This is the highest I can get with this. So if it's not this one, 
I have to go a little bit lower. But no, that's too, too, too close. There. Just what's one in between. Okay, getting to the port. Get ready, soldier, I see us. What am I here? Okay, I have to try to avoid being shot by this. Fail. This is more luck than actually ability, I guess. Okay, they keep fire to the previous position. different <laughs> it didn't work <laughs> come on oh. how can I pass this one because it moves so slowly there must be a way I'm doing something wrong here must be a way easier to I can stop as well okay so this stops okay no I got I don't have to get in the okay <laughs> looks like just in the middle yeah they cannot really they cannot really fight at the thingy okay now I have to fight in the beach get ready is this a bazooka Say, be careful, attend on Limboscata. Yeah, it's an ambush. Where are they coming from? It's cool, the game has different scenarios. So you don't get. one next to it's gonna appear. Maybe if the one that left is the same height, no, it's a little bit higher, of course. Done. Done. Uh, one more. I don't die the same. Now the frequency is about that less. <laughs> and now the suddenly, oh, everyone came out now. I wonder if I will have to fight um, the Commander Papo. Oh, yeah, I'm getting closer. Oh, they even have grenades. 
Friedhof. Ja, das ist so. Okay. I only have an end that's supply of bazooka rocket. And the guy up here under the rocket that one. So. Come on. The ones on the top are easy because I think it's the, in the highest. Oh well no, almost there. Yeah. Now let's 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 remove these ones first. Something's wrong with the joystick now. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> they surrendered. <laughs> yeah, mission completed. Really? Is that? Is that? Really? Well, the last game was the only one I was able to actually finish. Well, I think that's... Oh well, yeah, and then it starts again. Well, but it's very cool the concept. Imagine a remake of this on a modern system. That'd be cool, actually. I hope you have fun like I did with this video, and I'm planning to make one video for every tape, for every cassette, so we can explore it together. We can explore the whole box together. Question: Let me know in the comments what do you think about this. Let me know if you play one of these games with maybe they have different titles, different names, different translations. I would love to read your feedback in the comments. There is a link below for the device I use in for capturing the video from the Commodore 64 into QuickTime to record these videos. If you have any ideas of a better way of doing this, please let me know in the comments. I would be really happy to read that. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you next time.